What's up, guys? It's your boy Ryan, Rob Beats. Got a uh, issue today. Let's go see if we can fix it. All right. I turned the fan off on the um, BTF here because it was just super, super loud. But uh, today we're working on the um, Tajima here. It broke down. It broke down. Let me tell you guys what happened. All right, let me turn the lights on over here. Don't look over there, it's a mess. <laughs> so um, I was embroidering. Um, and I decided, I was like, you know what? Being a little lazy, let me use this old thing. This old thing. I said, yeah, it's fine. So I did my trace as usual. Right? Let me show you guys. The trace. So I was using the bigger one, but this is for an example. Trace one here, here definitely cleared it right definitely cleared it did it twice did it three times definitely cleared it then when i hit start um you know it was going but i noticed that it was getting really really low like like let's say for instance that it's supposed to start up here it started like maybe down here and it pushed all the design down and then when i was looking at, i was looking from afar away because i was doing dtf Literally, when I was trying to hit stop, the the footer hit it, bang, and sound like a broken car, like exploded. All right, so from my understanding, when something like that happens, the reciprocator breaks, right? So, guess what? It broke. Let me try to show you guys a picture of it right here. <laughs> yeah. So then I was like, you know what? I thought, hey, one. I just want to make sure, if you guys know one Liberty graphic, I say one. Just want to make sure this is what happened. This what broke. He said, "Yep, sound like a reciprocator. You broke there, dummy." I was like, "Yeah, thanks, one. Appreciate it." <laughs> so I was like, "All right, how do I get this thing out?" So I said, "Oh, you have to take this thing off and you know all this and call Optimus Prime to transform into whatever, because the reciprocator is back here, right? Like literally right back here. So I have to take this head apart." Right, he said, "Oh, it just takes a couple of bolts here and there," and I took one or two two bolts or whatever it was, stared at it. I was like, "Man, I have to take this thing off. I'm gonna have to take this." To I like, I was looking at every single nut and bolt on this thing. I was like, "I'm gonna have to take everything off." So I called my tech, Tajima Tech, Cyrus. I said, "Cyrus, yo, look, this this will happen." And I showed him the picture. I said, "Yeah, that's broken. Um, when are you available?" He said, "I can come tomorrow." At yeah, six, so I told him, "Yeah, you know, just come, cause knowing me, I'll, I'll mess some, I'll make it worse." So he came by. Literally, he took like a couple of nuts and bolts and flipped it, flipped the whole head on top of this. Here's the picture of that. I was like, "Dang, that was like ten minutes <laughs> or something like that less." I would have took the whole thing apart. So we changed it, or he changed it. Um, but the one I had, so let me show you guys. Here's the reciprocator I'm holding in my hand. So this is the reciprocator, right? So the needle bar here goes up and down by this. So it goes in and it goes up and down. Then it goes to the next one, it goes up and down, right? So if, if the needle can't go down, this is trying to go down this way, but it, since something is obstructing it to go down, it breaks. It pops like that, pop, 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 pop. So, which is, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to break. If not, everything else will break, right? So anyways, this is what, this is what it is. Then come to find out, I got the wrong one. The, see this little thing right here? The one I had was like a little bit longer. So we had to like cut it, you know, cause this is what we had. We had to cut it and, and see this little tiny hole up here. We had to like make that hole and then cut another piece back here whatever we just we made it work and it works so we're like cool it's working we did like um 
we went through did the did the cuts right then let's do the stitch out we went to go do the stitch out and the eye the eye stitch the stitch out and can you guys see the difference here what is the thing look see this let's see this it was going that way so we're like what the heck is going on there we couldn't figure it out what the heck is going on there all right we, we, we i don't know what's going on you know uh we didn't tell the machine to go that way it was just an eye and then we were messing with it a little bit and the the piece of this or we couldn't find it so it like flew off somewhere we heard it fly off i saw it fly off and i just don't know where it went so well good thing we got that one at first but like okay then my tech started doing this i'm sure you guys he started moving it side to side so it was going it was moving you know like this way and at a certain point it was it'll skip like the thing was just sliding it's like uh oh something else is wrong so okay um he said you know what i think you need to change your belt back here um he was running out of time so he said you know what um he said this is how it looks like it's just a, uh if you change a timing belt before same exact thing um so uh yeah just let's go ahead and take it out it's simple uh just replace it I'm like okay i can do that just a timing belt i can do that so yeah dude he said it's simple once you get the part five minutes top should be done so guess what we're doing today we're taking this apart well taking that out and see the damage you guys ready for this i'm not ready for it what we're gonna do is take this cover off Oops. sorry guys make sure you guys can see what i'm doing so what we're gonna do is take this cover off here there is six screws all the way across so let's go ahead and do that let's take this thing out oh my goodness do you guys see what see what I'm looking at? Do you guys see what I'm looking at? Um, yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be like that. See all the parts that's in there. But why is it rusted like that? Wow! And look, it even came off the thing. Yep, looks like a timing belt. Look, came off the thing. It's supposed to be on to this yeah so obviously it's not supposed to look like that but why is there all that rust all right well let's take it off um let's get this thing off just let you guys know um by just looking at it whoop, just by looking at it looks like that's a magnet let me see turn the light on so you guys can see it all right so it looks like that's a magnet it's a sensor right here so uh, we're gonna make sure that's there where it's supposed to be. <coughs> uh, all right, let's take it apart. Looks like this one has four, yeah, four screws up there in the back. And I'm assuming, yep, there it is. So this is your tensioner. It goes up and down. So once you get, when we get the new one, put the tension on there lock it in so um yeah let's take this thing apart let me see it looks like i still have one yep there it is so where this thing screws into is aluminum and it looks like it's already been um you see that uh right there see that little white that's uh looks like cross thread already stripped yep Yep, that's a piece of it right there. Okay, that's no fun. That's lovely. But like I said, don't over tighten these things. You should be able to get this thing right out of here. All right. So let's let's take a look at this thing. But look. So this thing's gotta been. So this thing must have been messed up a while ago. Um, like, 
you know, let me let me text this to my tech real quick. So he said, you know what? I've never seen anything like that. I think you're. Well, he said that, and his line of doing the machines, he've only seen this happen twice. That this thing needs to be replaced. But man, he said yours is pretty bad. So it looks like it's been like that for a while. Look at all that rust. We can still get this part. Um, I think so like Sue or so like so S E W many parts sells these things like parts, but I think this go by the length, right? So um, he did mention that if I'm gonna order it, make sure I order more of it. Um, don't get exact length. So this one is 58 and a half inches long. So gotta get at least 60 or more. Cause you can always cut these things, right? Um, let's, let's go on the computer and see what we can find. All right, let's go. All right, so what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna go to a website called um, Sewing. Wait, no, what is it called? So, I forgot what it's called. S-E-W-M-A-N-Y, parts. So many parts, there it is. All right, so what we're gonna do is, mine is the Tajima. So we go to, so that's the website, so many parts, let's go to Tajima. Tajima, where are you, Tajima? Where next, Tajima, here it is, Tajima parts. Tajima belts. So you got all these other belts belt catcher I got the plate so that's the plate so this is the timing belt right um, so here it is wait is ours a 15 mil let me check let me just check okay ours is a 15 mil so it says please note belts are cut to order and cannot be returned or exchanged Super Torque 15 mm wide pitch timing belt for Tajima embroidery machines. When ordering, please put the total number of inches you need in the quantity box. Okay, what did, what's it, what did we say? We need 60, so I'm gonna get like, I don't know, 70. So it's a dollar and 11 cents. What is it, 89 cents if I have 45 plus? So it's 89 cents. Let's get 70. So right now it's 62 dollars and 16 cents for 70 inches. If I pay ground, it's $18. It's gonna be $80 part. $80. Bah. All right, well, all right, $80 for that part. Um, I already ordered it, and man, that's so expensive. So $80. While we're waiting for it, let's go ahead and try to clean this up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put one of my cutouts there so I don't want that thing to go in there. I'll get that stuff out. You can see it's already ru was rubbing on the gear already. A little frayed there. Maybe I should have changed this too. Maybe I could just clean it out. So when we were moving it, it was here. It, there was no gear, it was just slipping. So that's why. Maybe I could just go to like an O'Reilly, like an auto store to get this, huh? You think? Oh no, because the the timing belt, it's not gear like this. The gear doesn't look like this. It's a uh, long waist. This where the teeth. Damn, look at all the teeth is gone. You know what I'm saying? On the timing belt, some majority of the timing belt, the gears, I mean the teeth go long ways this way. Look at that. Guts. Uh, so like I was saying, that plate here is aluminum, so you can definitely strip the, the screws on here. So be very, very careful and gentle. So since this is a sensor, I don't want anything falling over it, so I'm gonna cover it up like this. That'll be good. Yeah, so since we're doing this challenge of uploading on daily, you guys see what I do on a daily basis. So it, yeah, either I'm printing or fixing something. <laughs> But I appreciate you guys for tuning in. 
have a great rest of the day part two is coming once we get that part and we're gonna install it and hopefully it works hopefully it works i'll see you guys in the next one keep grinding peace out